In the two weeks leading up to the November general election, the main floor of the Cook Inlet Tribal Council sees a steady stream of early and absentee voters. This is our third time hosting it at this facility. We're glad to provide an option for all Alaskans because it, absentee voting is for all precincts in the state. So we're, we're glad to be an option in town. Michelle Spark is the director of Get Out the Native Vote, the organization that's hosting this early voting. She says that while election season is certainly a busy time, the advocacy work has been happening for quite a while. We spend year long, not just during election season, trying to educate the public about what's going to be on the ballot, what, what the election process looks like, deadlines, you know, all the stuff that you do find on the Division of Elections website, but we try to convey it in a way that's really relatable and that isn't intimidating for the readers or for future voters. Beyond educating voters, Get Out the Native Vote is focused on breaking down major barriers for communities off the road system. It's for rural Alaska that we have the scary times where we're worried about precinct workers, you know, whether or not a polling facility is knocked out by a flood and things like that. So we try to cover all bases uh, in an approaching election. And right now we're making sure that Kektovik and Wales and places like that do have election workers lined up. Spark says that when barriers to voting repeatedly crop up in rural communities, it can lead to voter apathy. That's why much of their effort focuses on shoring up election systems. And that work is a year-round job. Reporting from Anchorage, I'm Madeline Rose.